Hi, welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to bring back the old PowerToy calculator from Windows XP to Windows 7. The PowerToy calculator is a powerful tool which has several features, and that's why I recommend it. It has features like functions. I'm gonna show you. Let's add a function. Let's write something like right here the formula. Click OK, and you see here is the function. Also, it has an extreme precision. For example, let's calculate p. Here it's p, as you see, with a lot of decimals. A normal calculator's output would be only this. So let's begin. You need to open your web browser, and uh, then uh, you ha right here Windows XP VHD. Sorry, Windows XP VHD. You have to download Windows XP VHD, uh, but first you have you need to have installed the Microsoft Virtual PC on your Windows Vista or Windows 7. I recommend you uh, installing this software and then downloading the Windows XP Virtual Hard Disk. This method is uh, really fast. It takes only two to three minutes to be fully configured, uh, configured up instead of creating a virtual machine which needs, uh, uh, which needs a lot of time and a licensed copy of Windows XP so you need a CD with Windows XP. So click here, scroll down, click here on Windows XP Internet Explorer 6, click download, click here on save. I've already downloaded it, so I won't click save. Uh, I've downloaded it here. You'll get a file like this. All you have to do is to double click on it, wait for it to load. Uh, uh, sorry, a window will pop up. You have to click Run here. Then uh, read the license. If you accept, click Accept. Now select where to extract the file. I'll extract it here in this folder. Click Extract. And as you can see, the file will be extracted immediately. In fact, you get here in this folder, you get two files Windows XP VHD and Windows XP VMC. Uh, you have to double click on the Windows XP.VMC. Wait, and uh, the virtual machine will start up. Here it is. To be started. Now the Windows XP will boot really fast because it's a clean install of Windows XP. It's clean install, so you won't have to wait. It will load really, really fast. Here you must log in. Type the password is password one with capital letter P. Password one. Hit enter and it will load. When you will be logged in, this window will pop up, close the window and you are on the desktop. Click start, then click Internet Explorer. No problem, this window should, this error should appear. Now click here on tools, settings. No problem. Now click on network, working with the network. And here at adapter, adapter 1, you should choose one of the adapters listed here, test with each one to see which one works for you. I uh, you know for me works real text. Sorry for my Windows, it is in Romanian. Uh, I have a Windows 7 Home Premium and that's why I can't switch to English. I couldn't switch to English for this video. So click OK. Now go to google.com. No, wait until and wait for it until it uh, connects to the internet. 
and then we will be able to go to google.com yes now it's ready now right here vmware theme app hit enter click on the first result now uh, when uh, you're on this page click download trial click ok here you must uh, if you must have a VMware account. If you don't have one, register with your first name, last name, and email address. Click continue. You receive a confirmation email to confirm your address. It's simple. Confirm your email address and come back to this page and log in here with your credentials. I'll enter mine. You have to create your own account here in order to get your download. Click login. Click no and now it will show you the available downloads first copy this key then click on manually download click run the software will be downloaded immediately close internet explorer and now click on run Read the pattern list if you're interested. Click next. If you accept the agreement, click here and then click next. And uh, wait for it to start the installer. It will start the installer. Paste here the key we have just copied. And here your name or whatever you want. Click install. Wait to be install. Wait for it to install. As you can see, the installation process is smooth. It installs fast. Click, you click finish. Now click start all programs, VMware, Thin App Setup Capture. We are here. Click next. Now click press scan. It will press scan your computer, uh, meaning that it will evaluate the initial state of the computer before installing the program. We need to use on other systems. Now we have to install Power Toy Calculator, so open Internet Explorer. Visit again google.com uh, Windows XP Power Toys. Sorry. Click on the first result. Now wait the web page to be fully loaded. Click on Power Toys and then click on Power Calculator. Click Run. Close Internet Explorer. Click Run. Wait for it to be installed. The installation will be incredibly fast. Click here if you accept the agreement. Click Next. Next. Complete next install finish. Now you can post scan the computer. It, okay, it's installed. Let's test it. It's fully installed. Let's see if it works. It works. You can also, for example, let's calculate B with extreme precision. Yeah, it's working. Close it. Click OK and it will post scan the computer, meaning it will scan the computer. Uh, state after we have installed the program I suggest you here to tick only the first two ones click next 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 click here because uh, we want the app to write uh, the files needed to store settings in the same directory with the app you can write it to the user profile but this option makes the program portable but uh, it will uh, need to have access to the directory in which the app is so you can't run it uh, from program files on a limited account click next no next click browse let's save it in my documents and create a new folder okay next 
it's useful to generate an MSI package. This will install shortcuts for the apps, for the app we have just created. And uh, when all it's done, we click build. It will build the app immediately. And now the build is complete. Let's go to my documents calculator. It will be located in the bin. Here it is. Let's run it. It works well. Now, close the app and uh, we need to transfer the file to the real computer. To do this, we need to go to Tools, Settings, Integration, Characteristics, or I don't know, remember this again because it would be translated like this in English. And we have to share one of our physically hard disks or partition with the virtual machine. I'll choose my physical D drive, click OK. It tells us that the modifications will be available the next time we start the virtual machine. So now we have to close it and to reopen it. It starts up very fast. Again, enter here password 1. Hit enter. Oh, sorry. The window was not active. Password 1. Hit enter. And now wait till it loads. It brings us to the desktop. Let's click on start. And my documents and copy the calculator folder to my computer here is the shared drive double click on it and uh, paste it here I have a projects folder double click on it and click right click paste uh, so it's ready here let's see it on the real PC the projects folder is located here and we need to launch the app from the bin folder but first we need to tweak it a little bit right click on it, click properties here in the compatibility tab choose the program with the ex executed in compatibility mode with Windows XP Service Pack 2 click apply and then click OK and then double click on the app and now here it is, the window with the Power Toy calculator running on Windows 7. You can run it on Windows Vista 2. Vista 2. Thanks for watching and bye bye.